Jen knows what we're doing. Okay, so all right, hang on. Welcome to Holly's channel. <laughs> Welcome to Holly's channel. We have made a His Dark Materials book tag, which we're going to be doing today, and which we hope you guys will go away and do. It's one of our absolute, I think it's my favourite series. Oh, I, hes yeah, I yeah. hesitate to do that series. to Harry Potter, but... Oh, no, no now, now I'm having feelings. <laughs> it's definitely my favourite trilogy ever. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, it's my favourite trilogy ever. Um, and we were, uh, we are doing this video and we're also doing a video over on my channel talking about why we love the books because we were contacted by Claire Malcolm who works for New Writing North um, and she is helping to organise the Durham Book Festival this year and each year the festival picks one book to kind of be their book for the festival and this year they've picked Northern Nights by Philip Pullman which is the first in the His Dark Materials trilogy um, and they are giving away over 3,000 copies to schools and libraries and communities which is wonderful and I'll leave links to that down below. Holly will leave links to that down below. Um, and she contacted us and said, I know that you guys love these books. Would you like to make a video or two about why you love them? We have been offered to go to Philip Pullman's event at the Durham Book Festival. Um, so we've been given free tickets to that, but we're not being paid to do these videos. We just thought, yes, we bloody love these books. And yes, we will sit down and talk about them with a cup of tea. Cheers. We will. So we have eight questions here. And the first question, is all about what editions you have. Um, <laughs> mine are still in New Zealand. Um, I recently reread them, but I listened to them as audiobooks. Mm. I actually had more than this. I had a clear out recently and realised I didn't need all of these books. But I have had the urge to reread them when I've been on holiday before and haven't had them with me. Um, and just thought, I really want to read it. So I think I had about four copies of the first one. Um, so the I have a series of paperbacks. Uh, the first one that I have is this one, which is the first one that I was ever given. Uh, and it has Eurek on the front and Lyra with her alethiometer. Um, and the gilt title, it's very nice, very battered. It's like really also battered. Northern Lights see around. It the is, it's as well. really beautiful. It is really beautiful. Mm. And my godmother gave this to me when I was, I want to say 14. No, 96. I was 11. Yeah, okay, she gave it to me when I was 11. Um, and I didn't read it for a few years, actually. I think yeah. maybe 11's a bit young. Maybe. Although I think I, you can read it on so many different levels, can't you? You can, Yeah. you can. And also, the, the first bit is a little bit difficult to get through, I think. Yeah, once you're in the swing of it, it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, fall in love with it. So this is the stuff on life, this is a copy of the stuff on life that I have. Um, I love different this, editions. this is exactly how I picture that world as well. Yeah, That's how do you say that word? Ch Chittagatze? Ch no, you sounded very New Zealandish when you said that. <laughs> say that again. Chittagatze. Chittagatze. Okay. I've that, never said that word out loud. I think that's how it's said in the audiobooks. Chittagatze. So, okay, we're going to go yeah, with that one. And then this is the right. one that I have for the Amber Spy Glass too. I have the Everyman edition, which is a bind up, uh, which has Yurik on the front cover. 20th anniversary editions, which came out earlier this year. So this is Northern Lights, and the Subtle Knife, and the Amber Spy Glass. They're all very they beautiful, the titles are beautiful. Yeah. And mine are signed too. And they each have a little different things which I thought was cute. And I really love the 10th edition, 10th anniversary edition paperbacks, those beautiful. Mm. The black and white embossed paperbacks with French flaps. French flaps. I do love a good French flap. Yeah. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds weird. <laughs> okay, so the second question yes. is really straightforward. It's which is your favourite book? That's not straightforward at all. Well, it's, it's a straightforward question. The answer may not be so straightforward. I cried the most during the last one, mm. um, but because it skips between so many different characters' points of view, yeah. I don't find it as immersive. So the first one is probably my favourite. Like, when she's going on the journey um, up to Svalbard and stuff, like, that's so... Yeah. Oh, I love that bit so much. But there are bits that punch me in the heart in the last one. Yeah. They're all quite different in tone, aren't they? They are, and I got so cross when I started the second one and it was told mm. from Will's point of view. I was like, where's Ira gone? Yeah, Where yeah. she got? By the way, there, there will be spoilers in this <laughs> video. I really like the second one, that's my favourite. No, no, I liked it too, yeah. just at the but beginning, when I was panicking as to where Lara was, I, I was worried. I remember reading the first one for the first time though, I'm not, not sure if I felt the same. Mm. I was quite intrigued because you, you're sort of dropped in at this crucial point in his life where things yeah. are changing very dramatically. Yeah. Yeah. No, I quite like that. I like all of them. Yeah. But, um, I mean, as, as much as I love Lyra, that, that I, I find him very interesting. And yeah. then when they both came together, it was like, oh, this, this is 
Spoilers! <laughs> yeah. At the second one, okay. So yeah. I like the first and third, and you're like, this yeah. Second. So together, we love all of them equally. Yeah. Question three favorite character? I yeah. really love Lyra. Mm. She's great. And she, I also love the Mary Malone. Look, she really drives yeah. that. She does. Yeah. And I love Mary Malone, and I love Balfamos. Like, mm. he is. <laughs> He's, in my head he's like Stephen Fry. That's who he is. He's <laughs> Stephen Fry and he hates the world. He's like, I hate everybody. I love Europe too. Mm. I think Serafina Pegler is, mm. yeah, she's one of my favourites. Yeah. Her and Lyra, on rereading them, I felt like Mrs. Coulter was much more interesting. I, I didn't care for her much no. in, in the first, you know, it, when I read it as a child, but... She was now, ultimate baddie when I read her as a yeah, child. But now yeah, but she's like, so oh. complex. And yeah, she yeah. is. And her relationship better. with Azrael is mm. intense. It is. Lee Scoresby. Yeah. He is great. He is great. Yeah. He is great too. And his demon. She's so fucking yeah. sick. What's her name? Her Hester. Hester. Yeah. I'm forgetting everyone's names. This is awful. It's like a Game of Thrones moment. <laughs> Usually I'm the one who's hopeless at names. But Holly yeah. has reread them more recently than me. I reread them every Christmas. Yeah. Um, you probably read so, them more times know, all that Soon yeah. I will be rereading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what are your so yours is Lara and Serafina? Lara and Serafina, yeah. yeah. I, I find the witches really, really interesting. They're really fascinating. I find it want to be a witch. So the next one is, of course, what would your demon be? Well you see, I find this question along with the what would your what would your Patronus be really yeah. complex. But then someone left a comment on my Harry Potter tag and said my Patronus should be a white rabbit because yeah. I love Alice Wonderland so much. So maybe my demon should be a white rabbit. But do you feel like the Patronus and the Demon are the same, because no, in my head they're quite different. Well, as we'll discuss in the other video, <laughs> demons are now completely... I wrote my dissertation on his dark materials and sexuality in children's literature, mm -hmm. and your demon is your soul, but it's also... It's like your... It is your sexuality. Mm -hmm. So people in uh, Lyra's world who are straight have a demon who is the opposite sex of them, people who are gay have a demon who is the same sex as them, oh, and there is a whole dropping. thing where Mrs. <laughs> Coulter has that thing with Lord Boreal, where her monkey is oh, like holding yes. the snake and it's all very sexual yeah. and weird. So when, when people fall in love and when they mate, their demons touch each other, so it's really taboo to touch somebody else's demon because it's like you're touching their genitals, but yeah. it's also like you're touching their soul. So it's this weird mix of soul and sex. Mm. So what would my soul and sex be? I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know if it would, I don't know. Mm. Um, so yes, they are quite different from Patronuses. They're very yeah. different. Because a Patronus is like your, your bravery. It's your, yeah, your protector. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, also, I, I just, I, I, these questions panic me. Also because Lyra doesn't know. And Will doesn't know, that's no. why it's fascinating when Will gets his demon. When he gets to see his demon and it's yeah, a cat. And it's like, oh. That's what it was. Yeah. And we then, always knew that it was going to be a cat, though, because there's a cat in Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. Um, so, so what would yours be? <laughs> can't. We should put this question like, in. <laughs> like some sort of fairy woodland animal or something. I don't well, know. Well, if you're going to be a witch, it would have to be a bird. No, but Will and, and Lyra at the end become like witches, but they, they can't fly. No, they can't. I, I Yeah, maybe I wouldn't be a witch. I don't know. It's, it's so hard. Tell us in the comments. Tell us yes. what our demon should be. <laughs> We're passing little, it on. That's a little bit creepy, but also it is. Yeah. Just Give pretend they're just, just souls, okay? What would yeah. our souls be? Tell us yeah. in the comments. Because obviously you guys would know better than we would. <laughs> well, sometimes that's the case, though. Yeah. Next I, question. I, I was thinking like a squirrel or something, but <laughs> <laughs> squirrels are quite cool. <laughs> no, I don't know for you or for me, or I don't know. Just in general, squirrels, squirrels. are cool. <laughs> I do like. <laughs> Squirrels. <laughs> I'm slightly obsessed with squirrels because we don't have them in New Zealand. Also foxes are quite cool. Yeah, they they're are. very noisy. <gasps> I'd like a fox. Yeah. No, I would like I a fox. I foxes as well. But Vixen. then, yeah, then they have a sort of strangely sexual, like, they, do. they have that connotation with them as well. So, I don't know. I don't know that that's me. But, <laughs> anyway, next. moving on. Next. next. Question five. So, what world would you most like to live in? I'd really like to go to the world that Mary Malone goes to mm. with the creatures that I've also forgotten the name um, of. The oh, Malafa. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would quite like to go to that just, just to observe, but the, yeah. big, the big birds, no, no thanks. Um, yeah. So I don't think I'd like to live there. I'd quite like to explore Lyra's world. I think mm. it's really fascinating. Yeah, I think I said in a recent video that I would like to go to Lyra's world and 
be a lady scholar there. Yeah, that would be. I could see you doing that. Yeah. yeah. The history of the witches is something that really fascinates you. So yeah. That's, that's there's what so, I would do. There's so I much research that you could do. To study that. Yeah. 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 Okay. That was a good. That was an easy question. That was a short one. Excellent. Yeah. Next okay. one. <laughs> okay. So number six is a bit like the Deathly Hallows question. Mm. Um, it's it's which of the three objects of each of the books. So there's I, the, the alethiometer, yeah. the subtle knife, and the amber spyglass. Okay. So I would want the subtle knife because mm. the alethiometer would be shit if you couldn't use it. Um, and what well, assuming what well, assuming that, that you could use? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. The subtle knife would be crap. Assuming that, that you can use them. Okay. All right. Um, well, the Amber Spyglass, it's kind of, it's nothing really, is it's, it? It's interesting, and if you were going into research in that field, then it would be very interesting. And yeah, useful. if you were going to go look at... It's kind um, of the dud one, isn't it? The Elethiometer, I'm not sure I'd want to know the answers to everything. It's like one of those things that's like, do you want to know when you're going to die? But you wouldn't have to ask it all of those questions. No, but I, if it was there, I would, because I have no mm. self-control. <laughs> So I think I'd like the subtle knife so that I could go into different worlds. But then again, do you know about... Oh, the spec... Because, yeah, is, is that... Because if you know about that, then that's very problematic as well. Yeah. I think I would go for the alethiometer. Maybe, maybe we, we should just not have any of them. Maybe we should just team up and I'll have the subtle knife and you can have the alethiometer. And yeah. you can be a lady scholar like, and little, work little out... Little Lyra and... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and then you could work out in your lady scholar ways, mm. how to <laughs> not create spectres every time yeah, I open the world. That sounds far too scientific for me. I'm sure we could do it. Like history of the witches. <laughs> and then we could just live in harmony with the witches. Yeah. The end. Happily ever after. Next question. Which is not really what these books are about. <laughs> not really. But they're realistic. What? No, they're not. They have magic. They, they, they have re they're, they're believable within the world that's created. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So question number seven is, have you read any of the accompanying novellas or just other, what, what would you call it? Well, like sort it's of peripheral stuff. Yeah, I haven't actually. Um, and I'm not sure why, because there's Lyra's Oxford and Once Upon a Time, isn't there? Mm. And then there's also a short story that Philip brought out recently, which yeah. is about Mrs. Coulter. The Collectors. Yeah, The Collectors. Yeah. He's writing a book at the moment called The Book of Dust, which he's been writing for a, quite a long time, um, which is, he says, short stories about the characters during the time of his dark materials when they're not the main bit of the story. So that should be coming out in the future at some point. He hasn't said when. Yeah. So um, there is that. But no, I haven't. And I, mm. I don't know I don't know why, but I've done that with Harry Potter. I haven't joined Pottermore and I haven't read any of the extra stories. Yeah. Um, I have read, I've read all of them, I think. Mm. Um, so I read Lyra's Oxford Probably about the time that it came out, but I got it from the library, so I only read it once, and I have very little memory of it. Is it an um, actual story, or is it just like a fact book about her world? Oh, excuse I'm, me. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't really connect with it or want to reread it at you're the making, time. You're making me want to read it. But now, <laughs> but now I probably would enjoy it more. Okay. Like I've I've come to enjoy certain parts of the books more. Yeah. Um, and once upon a time in the north. I read much more recently and enjoyed, but again, it didn't have that sort of grandiosity to it. Yeah. And it, it's about Lee Scoresby and Yorick Burnson okay. earlier on in their um, misfit lives. So we're really selling them here. Yeah. But we love the books. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And I would like to reread Lyra's Oxford. Okay. All right. So the final question yeah. is talking about your sort of experience with books when you first read them how much you've reread them, or if you've read them then at a later date, what you've got out of them. Yeah. And yeah, just just tell us tell us a bit. So how old were you when you first read them? Not sure exactly. I eight or nine maybe? Oh that is young. Quite quite young. Yeah, that's young. So as I've reread them over the years I've got more and more out of them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I love about them as yeah. well. Um yeah, I probably was recommended the first one by the librarian, because we have lovely librarians at our children's library. Here's the librarian. So, yes, absolutely. It's, it's like Harry Potter as a yeah. child. I would just, I'd finish them and then go back. They're such <laughs> a comfort blanket, right? How old was I? I think I was given the book when I was 11, the first book, um, which was the year after it came out, mm -hmm. um, by my godmother. And I think I tried to read it and I was completely put off because the first chapter is quite heavy going. It's um, about scholars and they're talking about this new theory that they've discovered and dead people and someone's head is in a block of ice. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. um, and it's quite anthropological 
kind of. I think the beginning yeah, it is. Yeah. And um and I found it quite off putting. And actually when I reread it now I am surprised that the publisher like the editor didn't go, Can we maybe move some stuff around a little bit? Mm. I mean I like I, I love it now and I can like read it easily now and slip into it because obviously I know what they're talking about because you don't discover what they're on about until later but at the time I really found it off-putting so and I as a little brain book yeah as, as a YA book or an adult book yeah then that's a fine place to start but yeah. when you're younger it's, it's difficult yeah. people ask me what age you should read these at and I, it's a question that I find very very difficult mm. um I read them I think when I was 14 I picked so I, I left it and I picked them back up when I was 14 loved them read them yeah um and then have read them at least every two years since, um, yeah. and as I said, I wrote my dissertation on them, so I've gone really into depth in them. There's some stuff in there that is not for children, but you I don't, you don't, don't notice, notice it. it. You don't notice no, it as a child. I notice so much more reading. And I love them because... I don't know. If you love animals, then you'll probably love the idea of demons. I think it's that every time I reread them, I see new things. Yeah. And that's been absolutely true across the board. Um, yeah. And I think... Because it's been such a long time since I've read them, and then I read them a couple of months ago, there was, again, just so much more. And again, it was just, like, the penny dropping on so many things. Yes. And, yeah. They're magical. They, they are. They really are. And it's just layers and layers and layers, and... They're so clever. We, we find it difficult to find the rest of And that's why we haven't made videos about this series before, because yeah. it's like... I, it's so personal, mm. but here we are, not making much sense and just being like, you should yeah. read them because they're awesome. And I'm assuming you probably have read them if you're watching this tag. Yeah, otherwise, I'll probably none spoil of making it stuff. But if, tell us how much you love them in the comments down below. Please yeah. do the tag. And if you don't have a channel, answer some of the questions in the comments. We would love to read And that. answer our questions as yeah. well. Are, right. we are we tagging people or are we just tagging everybody? Oh, well, I don't know who's read them and who hasn't. We yeah. can't remember who's read them. If we think of specific people, we'll tag them. But otherwise, yeah. if you've read them, we would love, love, love you to see this tag. And please tweet us the links so we can watch yeah. them. Okay. Well, as always, thank you very much for watching. And thank you, Jen. Sorry. For... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've had great fun. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Go and watch the video on Jen's channel.